Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x minus 1 to the power of 3 this is equal to x minus 1 so what is the value of x or what are the values of x now let's provide a solution from here we have x minus 1 to the power of 3 this is equal to x minus 1 now we have that x minus 1 to the power of 3 this is in the form of a minus b to the power of 3 which we can express as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 then plus 3 a b to the power of 2 then subtract 3 a squared multiplied by b now we have that in this equation, we have that a is equal to x, and we have that b is equal to 1. So let's substitute in this formula here, so that now we have x to the power of 3, subtract 1 to the power of 3, then plus 3 times x, multiplied by 1 squared, then subtract 3, multiplied by x to the power of 2, then multiplied by b, which is 1. So in this case, this is equal to x subtract 1. Now we have x to the power of 3 minus 1 plus 3x minus 3x squared, and this is equal to x minus 1. So let's take x minus 1 on the left-hand side, so that we have x to the power of 3 subtract 1, plus 3x then subtract 3x to the power of 2 then minus x then plus 1 this is equal to 0 now this implies that from here we have x to the power of 3 minus 1 plus 1 this simplifies then we have minus 3x to the power of 2 we have 3x minus x, this is plus 2x, this is equal to 0. Now, we have that x is common here, so we can factor out x so that we have x into the parentheses. This is x to the power of 2 minus 3x plus 2, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here. We have that x1 is equal to 0, and we have x to the power of 2 minus 3x plus 2. This is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation of the form a x squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. Now, from this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3, and c is equal to 2. Now, we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization method, whereby we have the product, the product here is equal to 2, the sum is equal to minus 3. So we identify two factors. If we multiply those two factors, we get a value of 2. If we sum those two factors, we get a value of minus 3. So these two factors we have here minus 2 and minus 1. So if you have minus 2 times minus 1, this is equal to 2. Minus 2 plus minus 1, this is minus 3. So let's substitute these two factors into this equation here. So that we have x to the power of 2 minus 2x subtract x plus 2. This is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here. Now, from the first part here, x is common, so we can factor out x into the parentheses. This is x 
minus 2 then subtract in the second part here we have 1 is common so we can factor out 1 so that we have x minus 2 this is equal to 0 now x minus 2 is common here so this means we have x minus 2 then we have x minus 1 we have x minus 1 this is equal to 0 so this implies here we have that x minus 2 this is equal to 0 and we have x minus 1 this is equal to 0 therefore we have that x2 is equal to 2 and we have that x3 is equal to 1 so this algebra problem we have three solutions here now we have got three solutions to this algebra problem that is x1 is equal to 0 x2 is equal to 2 and x3 is equal to 1 so the next step from here is to verify that these three solution here satisfies the equation so we have x minus 1 to the power of 3 this is equal to x minus 1 so let's check if this is true let's take x1 x1 is equal to 0 let's substitute 0 here so we have 0 minus 1 to the power of 3 this is supposed to be equal to 0 minus 1 so minus 1 to the power of 3 this is minus 1 which is equal to 0 minus 1 this is minus 1 so the left add side is equal to the right add side and this verifies that x1 satisfies the equation now let's check x2 from here x2 is equal to 2 so we have 2 minus 1 to the power of 3 this is equal to 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 this is 1 to the power of 3 this is equal to 2 minus 1 which is 1 1 to the power of 3 this is 1 which is equal to 1 so this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side now let's check x3 which is equal to 1 so here we have 1 minus 1 to the power of 3 this is equal to this is supposed to be equal to 1 minus 1 so this implies that from here 1 minus 1 this is 0 to the power of 3 this should be equal to 1 minus 1 which is 0 so this means that 0 is equal to 0 and therefore the left add side is equal to the right add side and this affirms that the three set the three solutions here satisfies the equation that is x1 which is equal to 0 x2 which is equal to 2 and x3 which is equal to 1 satisfies the equation so can you draw the steps like this video and kindly subscribe please like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video